morning my peeps so happy to be with you today um, it's a good day it's a cloudy day but surprisingly it's warmer um, it's supposed to almost get to 60 today which is like hallelujah <laughs> uh, waiting for Allie to come out I'm gonna run her up to school and um, I think if I have time, if she gets down here in time, I might be able to actually stop at the post office and open up that P.O. box. I've been wanting to do that for a bit. Um, don't know if I'll get it done today, but definitely on the list of things to do um, this week. So excited about that. And um, yesterday I got a chance to talk to Dave, but I'm a knucklehead and I called from my cell phone, so I couldn't record it. I meant to call from my house phone and then use my cell phone to record it, but, well, there you have it. That's a typical Ruth brain fart, so, anyway, just wanted to let you all know that I love you, and let's get this day started. Look at the way this guy in front of me has his brake lights, this tractor trailer. There's either a short in his brake lights, or this guy's just tapping brake, tapping the brake. I mean, this is the whole way. It's like Morse code. Seriously, dude. What's your problem? All right, Chewy. Let's go potty. Yeah, he was scared this morning. I like it better when the sun is up at 6.30 a.m. Because when it's dark out here, he sometimes doesn't want to go because he's scared of things that go bump in the night. I know how you feel, bud. But, uh, other than that, nice day. Not too cold. Cold, but not too cold. My bird feeder only has a small dent, but I got a cardinal. Uh, I don't know if you can even see that blob of red in the tree there. Probably waiting for me to go back inside so they can hit the feeder but yeah just taking a little stroll with Chewy before I get into the madness of the day talk to you in a bit what a day guys pardon the mess uh, ever since this morning it's just been run 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 couldn't get the P.O. box because the post office doesn't open till 9 o'clock and I had to get back home and log in. And when I went to go get Allie, I was on the phone and it just never ended all day. It was just crazy. So I just wrapped up dinner and the vlog's out of sequence a little bit because I'm filming the outro before you'll see footage of dinner. <laughs> so anyway, here's the food. And I, oh, and my meatloaf came out overcooked. Oh, uh, well, you can't win them all. And it was a new recipe, and just have to tweak it for next time. But I hope you guys have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Love ya. So I saw a um, Facebook post on a special recipe for meatloaf. I mean, I have my usual way of making it, but this looked interesting because you use stovetop in it instead of breadcrumbs. And these are all the ingredients you need. Just your, your meat, pound and a half. Um, well, the gravy I'm actually going to make separate. <laughs> That's for the mashed potatoes I'm going to make. So I'm going to peel and boil those. And then I'll have the stovetop, the onion mix, two eggs, a cup of warm water, and meat. Should be good. And I think instead of making them in a loaf pan, I'm going to do them in muffin tins. That way we have little individual meat loaves. That makes it easier to pack up for Glenn's lunch tomorrow. And if Allie wants to take one, she can take one too. And for my lunch. Alright, let's do this.